What's going on guys? So like I said, this is chapter 913 of One Piece review. First time I've been doing a uh, face cam review or whatever without panels on the screen for One Piece. So uh, let's just get straight into this shit. All right, I, I, thought, I thought it was an excellent chapter. I did enjoy it very much. There was a lot of comic relief in it. I did enjoy a lot. The old classic stuff we get when Luffy and Zoro are together. It was some good stuff. I very much enjoyed it. The title did catch me a little off guard with it saying that Suru is going to be repaying someone. I thought, of course, as probably anyone who knows anything about One Piece thought, that we are talking about Suru from the Marines. I don't know why there is a second Suru in the story, or why that would be necessary. I know that it apparently means vine, like a vine you would find in a swamp, the word Suru. But, you know, her fruit doesn't have, like, the original Suru's fruit doesn't have anything to do with vines nor does this person seem to. Maybe she has, like, the vine devil fruit. That would be interesting, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to see on that. I don't know why Oda decided to give them the same name, but I suppose we will just have to find out. So, I'm also surprised about how when we get to Hawkins and Luffy and Zoro, that Hawkins gives Luffy the number of 19% chance of surviving an entire month in Wano. Now, that sounds like a low amount, but for one thing, let's be real, like, it's always going to be low like that, but I would think he would realistically throw out a number like 1 or 2 or 3%, especially over an entire month. I mean, how often do we actually have an arc, you know, when they go to an island or whatever, where they're there for more than like two days? I, I mean, really, how often do we see them even sleep before the battle's over? Like, they show up to Alabasta, everything's over in one day, they sleep, and they're gone the next day. Uh, th that's what pretty much happens at every single arc, except for, like, Water 7, I guess, because, like, shit happened and they had to go to a different island, but they spent, like, one day on each island or less than an entire day. So... I don't know why they'd be there for an entire month. Maybe this is going to be an exceptional arc because it's going to be so crazy because it's Wano because we're dealing with an emperor, of course. But I don't know. An entire month, that just doesn't seem to make any sense to me. The fact that he'd have a 19% chance of lasting an entire month seems pretty ridiculous to me. So if we cut that down to like, what, even just a week, that could be up to like 75-ish percent. And I don't know why we'd even be there for a week either. So I understand that the numbers don't work exactly that way. But I'm just surprised that he's giving 19% for an entire month in Kaido's territory. I think that's pretty good. And maybe that something like that will even come into play. Maybe Hawkins will be like, oh, well, I guess they were only here for like two days. So they had a pretty good chance, huh? But yeah, so that, that was interesting. Uh, I'd like to see how that plays out in the future. Um, so yeah, apparently we're getting a little bit more on Hawkins' Devil Fruit. He can just tank massive amounts of damage. I, I suppose probably enough to kill him. And he just has one of his soldiers die in his place pretty much. He said if he has 10 soldiers, he can die up to 10 times then. But now the question is, what exactly stops him from making just unlimited soldiers? I don't know. It doesn't really seem at this point like it takes too much to make them. I don't think we've actually seen him really make a soldier at this point. He just came in with them. So maybe there is some kind of preparation or something required to make soldiers. But at this point, I'm guessing it's not too hard. So it seems like an extremely overpowered Devil Fruit. Hopefully we'll, we'll get even more on it in the future. I'm wondering why we did not see this new massive creature that he summoned that was able to do a significant amount of damage to Zoro. Not damage, but like it did something to Zoro. Why did we not see this in Sabote? We did see him go into some like weird straw form, but it, it wasn't anything like this thing. I understand he was against Kizaru, but I don't know why that wouldn't even be more of a reason to bring it out. Maybe it's some kind of awakening. Maybe this is like his awakening. Maybe it's extremely powerful. It seems to be very good, especially compared to his pussy ass soldiers. So I could very well see this being an awakening for the straw straw fruit. Uh, so another thing is, I want to know if the cards are a part of his devil fruit. Like, he's supposed to be the mage. That is his title. And he has these cards that can to some degree predict the probability of something happening in the future and now we're seeing that they have like just abilities to power up his giant creature that he created or maybe even himself or his soldiers or something just at this point we've seen it power up the giant creature so are these cards a part of the fruit or are they separate because they seem to be pretty related i mean it's directly affecting the creature that he is making with his fruit and it's, like, as far as we've seen in One Piece, for the most part, there's really no, like, magic. So, besides Devil Fruits, of course. So, 
is it related? Like, do the cards come with his Devil Fruit or something? I'm not really sure. It's really weird. It'd be very strange if he has this magical ability, which he just perfectly incorporates with his Devil Fruit. But at the same time, if it is a part of his Devil Fruit, then that's kind of weird too, because it's supposed to be the Straw Fruit. And, I mean, we've seen people like Dofi do some crazy things with the Devil Fruit, but it at least makes sense, right? Like, he can perform surgery on himself because he's using strings like stitches. But, like, the straw fruit having all these applications, I don't know. We're going to have to see because right now it does not make too much sense. Uh, yeah, speaking of his giant creature that he summoned, I think the Zoro pretty much bodied that thing. I mean, he was pretty surprised by how powerful it was at first, but for one thing... Apparently, Hawkins pulled out some sick card, which made it really powerful and would allow it to surpass its limits. I, I mean, that's at least how I interpreted what was going on. And then Zoro just kind of was like, oh, yep, this is, uh, this is pretty tough, and just annihilated it. So, I don't know, a lot of people are getting really worked up about this. I really just didn't even think about it until I started reading all these comments, people saying like, oh man, people have been giving Sanji so much shit. I haven't even been giving him so much shit. But no, Zoro comes in, he can't do anything against Hawkins. I, I I think Zoro would probably beat Hawkins 1v1, and it might not be insanely hard. I mean, it'd probably be a pretty big battle, but I don't think it'd be like, you know, extreme diff or something. So I, I don't know. I thought that that was a pretty cool scene. I enjoyed that for sure. Another thing is, I don't understand how that card he pulled is, for one thing, a support card, because it seemed to just enhanced it made it super powerful he said it was like the card of pursuit but what i mean okay it doesn't really maybe like it works like if someone is running away from the creature then it gets like a power boost but that doesn't really make sense because zoro like turned on it and took it head on it was still pretty powerful so i don't know i don't, I don't really understand how that is a support card at all but then also he says how it is going to have someone help them escape which doesn't make sense because he said he pulled a good card. I I feel like something must just be going over my head here because it just made no sense at all. Maybe the translations were off. Maybe I'm an idiot. Probably the latter. But I don't know. Hopefully that will be explained in the next chapter. And the last thing is that we got to see Law and his goons. I'm really excited for that. I mean, their, their character designs are just better than they already were, which is really cool. They got this whole these samurai get-ups. And they even have Law's Jolly Roger and whatnot on them. I'm sure maybe they're going to be like similar color. There's going to be a lot of yellow to their designs here, which is really cool. I mean, really, where did they get the time to get this shit? I don't know, but it's awesome. Beppo looks amazing. They're saying he sticks out. Of course he does. I mean, although, I don't know, like, I, I feel like minks are kind of, you know, common in the new world, maybe. Maybe that's not what they're talking about, but... I don't know. I don't see how he sticks out, but I think it's hilarious. I think Beppo looks great, and I cannot wait to see more from him. And hopefully the next chapter, that would be ideal. But, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much the entire chapter. It is on break next week. One Piece isn't, but Shonen Jump is, so we're not going to get any One Piece. I'm really disappointed. I mean, this two-week wait for this chapter was horrible. I had a very bad time waiting for that, and now we have to go two more weeks. I'm really not too happy about that, but, you know... What are you going to do? This is not the first time I've seen this happen, so it's just something we got to deal with. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this review. Want me to do them in the future. I Don't worry if you're thinking like, oh, now Frankie's just doing all these face cam videos. I don't Actually, a lot of people do seem to like them, so I, I will definitely continue doing them. But I'm also going to be doing the old videos. I usually do like theory videos with shit actually on the screen besides myself. So just... You know, prepare yourselves for that. I'm just trying to adjust this whole new thing I'm doing because I'm doing a lot more videos now, a lot more face cam videos and whatnot. And I'm just trying to figure out a schedule way I could do this all. So just give me a little bit of time. Those are definitely coming. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will talk to you soon.